Thank you, Chair. Uh, I want to start off by um, uh, thanking everybody who's taking the time to tune in or come to this, uh, this incredibly important hearing today. And I also want to start off by thanking every member of the Criminal Jurisprudence Committee for voting on a bipartisan and unanimous basis for the issuance of what is admittedly and what was admittedly a historic and wholly unprecedented subpoena. I'm grateful for each one of you for taking such a bold action that even though it was historic and without precedent, I, I firmly believe it was absolutely necessary given the extenuating circumstances uh, in this case. And without wanting to get too philosophical, I do want to remind everybody that in our country and in our state, in the great state of Texas, it is the people who write the laws that govern them. And they do that via their elected representatives in the legislature. So it is incumbent upon us to make sure that the laws that are duly enacted by the legislature are being faithfully adhered to by those who are subject to them. And so for people out there who have concerns, who have raised questions about separation of powers, I want to be unequivocally clear. If you care about the maintenance of the proper functioning of our constitutional system of separation of powers, you should be the loudest supporters and the biggest proponents of what this committee is doing here today. If the House of Representatives cannot exercise legislative oversight to make sure that our laws are not just being faithfully adhered to, but that they are not potentially being so egregiously violated that it may result in the life of a potentially innocent person being taken by the government, then I would posit there may be no matter that could be subject to legitimate legislative oversight. The role of government, ladies and gentlemen, is the protection of life and the protection of our liberties and our freedoms, which do not come from the government, but that are endowed as our founders knew and codified in our founding documents in an, in an inalienable fashion, endowed, endowed to us by our creator. And it's the central role of government to protect them. So especially when we are weighing something before us, as constitutional officers of the state of Texas, where a man's life literally hangs in the balance and we are contemplating the government exercising the ultimate and most awesome power that we give a government, and that is to take a life, we cannot get this wrong. And I say that as somebody, ladies and gentlemen, I, I want the state of Texas to lead the nation just about everything. But executing potentially innocent people is not one of them. I do not want my children, and I think I can confidently say this for my colleagues on the dais here, I do not want my children to inherit a state where potentially innocent people may have their lives deprived from them by the government. So in, in closing, I, I wanna just thank not just my colleagues on this committee, but every single member of the Texas House of Representatives who has spoken up and has unified and is making the conscious decision to put aside partisanship and put aside the issues that usually divide us so that we can come together in the pursuit of justice. Thank you, Chair.